may we request the President to lead the ceremonial launching of the DSW Disaster Response Command Center. He shall be accompanied by Social Welfare and Development Secretary Rex Gachalian. In a short while, we shall be requesting the President to kindly press the activation button to officially launch the Disaster Response Command Center. Ready, Mr. President? At the count of three, one, two, three. Magandang araw po sa inyo. Halina't panoorin natin ang isinaayos ng DSWD na Disaster Response Command Center kung saan ito ay iprinesenta kay Pangulong BBM sa ikapitumpot tatlong anibersaryo ng ahensya. Tere na at ating tingnan ang kagalingan ng mga taga DSWD sa pamumuno ni Secretary Rex Gatch Ilien. Mabuhay! Based on the instruction of the President, we have changed the paradigm of how we conduct our disaster response and relief operations. We put to heart the credo of maagap at mapaggalingang serbisyo. Our aim is to make our people, most especially the affected families and individuals, feel that the national government is maagap, always first on the site during every disaster and calamity with sustained efforts to assist affected families and individuals. And mapagkalinga. The last to leave, providing not only the immediate needs of the community during disaster and calamities, but extending assistance to show extra love and extra care for the entire community to get it back on its feet. Well, the with the launching of the Disaster Response Command Center earlier this morning, we now have a centralized hub made to ensure efficient disaster response and relief operations. Currently, as it is, we coordinate in chat groups and through calls our disaster response and relief operations. Hence, there was an urgent need for a centralized hub dedicated to disaster response as we take a significant step forward fortifying our nation's resilience and capacity to respond swiftly and efficiently to the most pressing needs of our communities in times of crisis. With this new hub, by next month, the situation reports of our field offices will be automated where they can put that data in real time, enabling us to have a bird's eye view if we have enough relief goods, matching our inventory stockpiles with the number of affected individuals provided by our boots on the ground.
the Disaster Response Command Center will also be interoperable with the country's other command centers who are involved in the other aspects of disaster management, such as the Office of Civil Defense, Metro Manila Development Authority, Philippine Disaster Resilience Foundation, Philippine Red Cross, Philvox, and Pag-asa. The DSWD will provide disaster response to all those affected, but we will not forget our mandate to protect our main clientele, the poor, the marginalized, and the vulnerable. This operating system has been designed to reflect disaggregated data that doesn't just talk about faceless men and women alone, but the data is drilled down into sectors that these individuals belong to. Sectors that the DSWD is mandated to protect. Children, pregnant and nursing women, seniors, and people with disabilities. So that we can customize and tailor fit our response to those that have special needs. In behalf of the, the whole DSWD family, let me take this opportunity to express my gratitude to all our partners from various local government units, national government agencies, non-governmental organizations, civil society organizations, foreign institutions, and the private sector partners who have contributed to the realization of the disaster response program of the department. and who have helped us in ensuring the seamless delivery of social protection programs and services to all Filipinos in need. The whole DS, to the whole DSWD family, I thank you all for your hard work and dedication. The department's accomplishments cannot be achieved without the diligence and commitment of our social workers and development workers, officials and personnel in keeping with the tradition of providing genuine and compassionate public service for the past 73 years. Mr. President, as we go on our 74th anniversary, you can rest assured that the department will continue to strive to not only be the lead provider of social protection, but to make sure that our department is the incubator of innovations in social protection.
dahil sa isang bagong Pilipinas, hindi lamang tayo magbibigay ng pangkaraniwang programa ng proteksyon panglipunan, kung hindi makakapagbigay pa tayo ng mga makabagong solusyon upang paglingkuran pa ang lubos na nangangailangan at ang buong sambayanang Pilipino.